let me ask a silly sounding, ridiculous sounding, but probably extremely important question. Mm -hmm. Sex in space, including intercourse, conception, procreation, birth, like being a parent, mm -hmm. like raising the baby. So basically yeah. from birth, well, from the before the birth part, um, like the birds and the bees and stuff, and then uh, uh, the whole thing. How complicated is that? I remember looking at the, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I remember looking at this exact Wikipedia page, actually, and it's, I remember being, uh, the, the Wikipedia page is sex and space, and fascinated how difficult of an engineering problem the whole thing is. Is that something you think about, too? How to have generations of humans, humans. self uh, self replicating organisms? Societies. Yes, yeah, societies, sure. essentially. I mean, yeah. I guess with micro, like if you solve the gravity problem, you solve a lot of these problems. Yeah. That's the hope, yeah, is like the central challenge of microgravity to human reproduction. But we do host a workshop every year at Beyond the Cradle, which is the space event that we run at MIT. And we always do one on pregnancy in space or motherhood or raising children in space because there are huge questions. Um, there have been a few mammal studies that have looked at reproduction in space, but there are still really major questions about how does it work? How does the fetus evolve in microgravity if you were pregnant in space? And I think the near-term answer is just going to be, we need to be able to give humans a 1G environment for that phase of our development. Yeah. So there's some studies on mice in microgravity. Yeah. And it's interesting. Like I think the mice, like one of them, the mice weren't able to walk or like their, their understanding of physics, I guess, is off or something like that. Yeah. yeah. The mental model when you're really young and you're kind of um, getting your mental model of physics, we do think that that would change um, kids' abilities to if they were born in microgravity, their ability to have that intuition around an Earth-based 1G environment might be missing because mm -hmm. a lot of that is really crystallized in early development, early childhood development. So that makes sense that they would see that in mice, yeah.